What is up, Karatics? Welcome back to my top 10 series for GT Online. And this one, I'm going to be compiling a list of cars that look most realistic compared to their real life counterparts. Now, as we know with GTA, most of their cars have always been based on multiple vehicles sort of mashed together into one car, which resulted in weird but also pretty recognizable design traits to where you immediately knew you were looking at a car from GTA when you saw a photo of it and not from, you know, any other game. Well, over the years, Rockstar has slowly started to make their cars closer and closer to their real-life counterparts, and that was very apparent around 2019 with both the Casino and Casino Heist updates to the point where some of the newer ones look almost like PC mods of real cars at first glance, which is just crazy to even think about. Especially when you compare them to the OG cars from 2013, which were very far in design compared to the real-life counterparts. So with that in mind, the cars I chose for this top 10 list will be DLC cars from 2019 to the time of this recording, which is May of 2023. And to clarify here, remember this top 10 list is obviously based on my opinion. I chose these cars based on them having the least amount of mixed parts, while also having very close design to the cars they're based on. Also, this is only based on exterior styling, so exhaust note, interior, etc. doesn't count. But anyways, let's get started with number 10. We have the Invitero Coquette D10. So this car is available from the Legendary Motorsport website for about 1.5 million. It's primarily based on the Chevy Corvette C8 Stingray. Now this car does have a few differences compared to the real one. Namely, the headlights, the front grille, and the side vent, which they basically just sort of reverse the angle of the opening, which I think is pretty funny. And for the rear, the main difference is the tail lights, which have sort of like a U shape in GTA, whereas the real ones have sort of like L shapes. And that's pretty much it. The rest of the car is pretty spot on in terms of the general shape and the body lines. I mean, you can tell it's quite clearly based on a C8 Corvette and not a Lambo or a Ferrari or a McLaren, which which is pretty impressive that Rockstar was able to pull it off and make it look so recognizable as a Corvette. Moving on to number 9, we have the Vapid Dominator ASP. So this car is available from a Summer San Andreas website for a normal price of just under $1.8 million and a trade price of about $1.3 million is primarily based on the 2000 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra R. Most of the car is pretty spot on, minus the side event, which Rockstar just sort of reversed on the car, which is pretty interesting. And then the lower front bumper vents are a bit off as well, but the rest of the car is generally pretty spot on. Continuing to number 8, we have the Emperor Vector. So this car is available from the Legendary Motorsport website for just under 1.8 million and a trade price of about 1.3 million. It's primarily based on the 2020 Lexus RCF. This one is super spot on. There's very minor differences in the headlights, the grill trim and the tail lights, but the rest of the car I think is very well done. I think Rockstar did a fantastic job with this one. Now, add an LFA Rockstar, please, please. Anyways, <laughs> next up on to number seven, we have the BF Weevil. So this car is available from a Severn San Andreas website for a normal price of 870,000 and a trade price of 652,000. It's primarily based on the VW Type 1 Beetle with the rear split window. So this one is extremely close. I mean, there is very minor details that are different but they're really small for the most part the design is very well done moving on to number six we have the obey omnis egt this car is available from legendary motors but website for just under 1.8 million this one is primarily based on the audi e-tron gt and honestly it's pretty wild how close this one is now the headlights and front grille are a little off, but the rest of the car, I mean, it's really hard to find any major differences. Even the taillight shape is pretty spot on. Plus, Rockstar even incorporated the active rear spoiler, just like the real one, so 
So just a fantastic car model on this one. Continuing to number five, we have the Anis ZR350. So this car is available from the Legendary Motorsport website for about 1.6 million and a trade price of about 1.2 million. So this one is primarily based on the Mazda RX-7 FD and it's just wild how close Rockstar made it to its real life counterpart. I mean the only difference I see is that they didn't incorporate the taillight black center trim but other than that I mean this is just very well made with the proper pop-up headlights and everything that actually work I mean very well done. Next up on to number four we have the Karen Calico GTF. So this car is available from the Summer San Andreas website for just under 2 million and it has a trade price of just under 1.5 million. This one is primarily based on the Toyota Celica GT4 and honestly other than Rockstar omitting the lower front bumper indicator lights the rest of the car is very spot on throughout. Rockstar did a fantastic job on this one. From every angle, it's quite clearly based on the Celica, and it has tons of customization options to get you pretty close to the real life rally variants as well. Moving on to number three, we have the Denka Segoy. So this car is available from the Summer San Andreas website for 1.2 million, and a trade price of about 900,000. This one is primarily based on the Honda Civic Type R FK8. I remember when this car was first added, I was just in disbelief how close they made it to its real life counterpart. It was really the first car where the community was just impressed how close Rockstar got to the real one. Now there are some differences in the front grille, the hood scoop, and some slight differences to the tail lights, but I mean... The rest of the car, I mean, it's just so spot on. I think most of the community agrees this car definitely needed to be in top three. Continuing to number two, we have the Fister Comet S2, and I guess also the S2 Cabrio would count in this, but the regular S2 is available for a legendary motorsport website for just under 1.9 million and a trade price of about 1.4 million. This one is primarily based on the 992 Porsche 911. This one is extremely close to its real life counterpart with similar headlight and taillight design, body shape, etc. However, there are some minor details that are a bit different like the front grille, the mirrors, and the exhaust placement being under the rear bumper vent rather than incorporated into it like the real one. But the rest of the car is pretty spot on and it's quite clear that it's based on the 992 rather than the other 911 models which is pretty hard to do considering they have extremely similar design language. And lastly, on to number one, the car that I personally think is the closest to its real life counterpart in the entire game, and that is the De Classe Vigero ZX. This car is available from the Summer San Andreas website for just under $2 million. This one is primarily based on the sixth generation Chevy Camaro ZL1, and honestly, 99% of this car is identical to the real one. The only differences are the headlights, which are more closely taken from the refreshed Camaro headlights, which were never offered on a ZL1, a slightly more squared off grille shape, and the shape of the rear quarter windows, but those are really, really minor differences. The rest of the car is pretty much identical to the real one. I mean, Rockstar really did a great job adding the long-awaited modern Camaro in the game. They just said, screw it, let's make it super, super similar with even similar customization to the 1LE track variant. I mean, just incredible, this one. But anyways, guys, there you have it. Those are the top 10 most realistic cars for GT Online in 2023, in my humble opinion. <laughs> Definitely let me know down below in the comments what car you personally think looks the closest to its real-life counterpart in GTA or maybe even compile your own top 10 list down below in the comments but uh, thanks again for watching guys and also let me know what other top 10 video you guys would like to see me do down below in the comments thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one